Hello, hello, hello everybody. It is Moko here and I am going to do a celebrity couple. Um, and this time, this is a couple that has been on my list for a long time, but there's been an update in their situation. So I figured I should read it this week. Um, I'm going to be reading on Gabrielle Union and Lord, his name, Dwayne Wade. I'm just going to call him D Wade because anytime I try to say that, I think about the guy from a different world <laughs> with the sunglasses. So I'm gonna read on those two as a couple, but also because his ex-wife, Siobhan, I think, she filed a lawsuit regarding their youngest child. So I'll be re I'll be reading on her as well. So it's, it's actually gonna be a pretty long reading. I hope you guys like it. Um, let's save some time and let's get started. Normally I start with the women, but here I you guys had more questions about about D Wade. That's just what I'm gonna call him. You guys had many more questions about him. Largely about his sexuality, but let's see what he's like as a person first. Um and and I finally did my homework uh first thing, so I know that Gabby is a Scorpio. Uh, D Wade is a Capricorn and Siobhan is a Virgo. I, I think that may be the correct birthday, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Didn't, didn't they have an issue with like a break baby? Isn't, didn't that come from them? I feel like he's not, he's still, he's still kind of like living a bachelor lifestyle. And I think a lot of people know this already. So I'm asking him, how is he doing first? And he's showing me this other woman who is not Gabby that he's entertaining. Um, this is somebody that he's been with before in the past, or it could be like a friend of his that that he's already already been with, um, but this this is someone he definitely knows. Um, he's currently either trying to woo her, or maybe they're actually together together, or they're just getting back together. And this is something that the industry knows. Like they they know that he's not faithful. But tell me how you're doing. <laughs> Okay, that's how he's doing. Um, hold on, let's see. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, so the, the lawsuit is coming up here. So his energy right now, I'll, I'll get into the lawsuit later on. His energy right now is he wants to win at any cost. Win at any cost. And usually this King of Swords represents a, a lawyer a lawyer he wants to win at any cost but I, I i do feel like he's actually upset um about about the lawsuit he he actually is upset about the lawsuit um these these are his children these are actually his children here uh he has three four um four i'm pretty sure four he has he I th i'm pretty sure he has four um you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really keep up with him. Um, but no, he, he actually is quite upset about this lawsuit and about like, I guess, um, bringing the children into it. Um, that's, that's kind of what he feels like. And he, he's, he's just like, not this again, not this again. And he, he already knows that it's going to be a very long battle. He already knows this. So that's what's in his energy right now. He's still a philanderer. And he actually is upset about um, the lawsuit that his ex-wife filed against him. And his mentality is he wants to win at any cost. So let's look at his personality. He's not, he's not playing. He's not playing. Um, so I, I, I 
I split this up a few ways um, because every I feel like every oh um, every everybody has um, different facets of, of their personality so I just I just split it up like what what was he like as a basketball player as a public a public figure um, what was what's he like as a husband versus a lover to um, his side chicks because he still has them that break baby incident I feel like that's still on his mind when it comes to his public perception because it feels like he still wants to um, make up for that even though I feel like most people forgot about it like they're actually buying this whole you know father of the year type of thing anyway so um so i asked him how was he as as a basketball player and again i'm only i'm mostly seeing his children his children unlike tom brady unlike tom brady he knew when it was time to retire to to leave the field he knew or it's not a field for basketball but the court he knew that it was time to leave the court and he actually did do it for his children so again unlike tom brady's ass he has kids and he actually cares about them um <laughs> let me let me let me stop um but yeah but as 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 a as a basketball player i feel like in his mind the his children started to not be a burden but when he was on the court he was thinking more of them so it's like he knew that it was time to just go to just do 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 something else but I, again because of what's going on with the lawsuit i feel like his children are on his mind and when it comes to his his persona as a public figure in his mind he feels like people are still holding that break baby thing over him that's how he feels as a public figure um i don't know if this is the the woman that he's dealing with again the woman that he had the child with i i don't i don't know you guys have to just say whatever in the comment section because i barely follow these two i just remember break baby <laughs> But but in his mind as a public figure, he thinks he thinks that this is still on people's minds. And it's almost like he's trying to make up for that dip in his image. And I asked him how was he as a husband when he was with Siobhan and some some good and bad. So so he was he was happy as a as a family unit, but it feels like in some way he felt that he wasn't able to expand while he was with her so even even though his his home life with her was actually a happy one it was just for him it was kind of too small a little bit um interesting interesting like i don't know maybe maybe it's a fame thing let me let me draw some more cards on this i'm glad that i read on him first um Or maybe no I should probably let this wait no you know what I'm, go I'm gonna let it wait sorry guys I'm gonna let it wait but it it, it it looks like he was happy to be married to her and to have a family with her but there was something about him feeling small while he was married to her or feeling like he couldn't expand or he couldn't do whatever it is he wanted to do now the interesting thing this this could be the lawsuit again that's here but I asked him, how was he as a husband to Gabby? This isn't looking good. It's not, it, I mean, again, like I said, this could just be the lawsuit that's coming up because I drew these cards earlier um, where this is a lawyer and this is winning at all costs. But when it comes to relationship, this is not that much emotion here. It's mostly strategic. And then this, this, this is comp competitive. Um, so it could be like, this is a strategic, strategic marriage in order for the both of them to be competitive um but this could also suggest that they don't really get along they fight a lot um and that they're in competition with each other so i'll, I'll look more into that later on and when it comes to him as a lover with his girlfriends he's not that great like the, the good the good cards are with siobhan <laughs> he's not he's he's not that great he's kind of like a drag like it's it's almost like and i'm not saying that he sees prostitutes this is allegedly for entertainment purposes only but it's almost like men who see prostitutes and instead of like doing their business they just want to talk about their feelings <laughs> like that's that's kind of what i'm getting like maybe some of these ladies he's with they're like can you just shut up and like 
let's do what we do and I get my money. Like, why are you talking about your feelings? Go see a therapist. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. All right, so I'm, I'm actually going to do his shadow cards here. For sure, he's 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 still he's still dicking around. He he really is. He's he's still dicking around. Um, but however, he he doesn't have that much shadow shadow size. It, it just it just shows that he's a little bit no. He's a lot of a workaholic. That's that's all it shows. He's he's a he's a workaholic. That's basically it. And that he kind of has the gift of gab a little bit. Um, and it's, it's not really a bad thing, honestly. This is more like, you know, sometimes he can be a little bit, not slick at the mouth, but he can say what people want to hear and get away with things. But that's, that's not too much of a shadow side. So next I'm going to ask questions that you wanted to know about him. specific questions about people's sexuality because that's their business um, but sometimes things like this do come out um, and I'm not really seeing like a lot of a lot of people a lot of you guys because I whenever I do these things um, I upload uh, I say I'm doing so and so this week submit your questions um, and this is how I get these questions guys um, so if you want to ask questions about specific celebrities just follow me on Instagram and you'll see a little thing in my stories where you can ask the questions a lot of people wanted to know if he's gay <laughs> bisexual or whatever um, I'm not really seeing gay I'm not really seeing like bisexual I think I think he's curious I think he may be like he may get pegged or something like that or maybe he he may be interested in like a trans woman who still has the downstairs equipment but I'm not seeing like gay gay <laughs> I'm not seeing you know um, bisexual in that he's had those specific experiences it's more like yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of curious um, he may have done a little bit of something something may have gotten you know some sloppy toppy or something like that um, but it's gonna stay under wraps um, and whether or not Gabby knows this I don't think she knows I don't I don't think she knows I think this is something that um, he's hiding from her actively um, and I and, and I've, I feel like he'll try to express it in like little little ways uh, which is probably what's you know pinging people's radar but it's not like full <laughs> it's not full-blown gay it's not full-blown bisexual it's just like dipping his toes in the pond <laughs> like, that's what it's like like he's 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 curious he's he's curious but it it doesn't go it doesn't go all the way <laughs> I don't think he's been penetrated by a man <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I I wanted to know about their relationship together, Siobhan and D Wade, especially since I saw that beautiful ten of cups around them, around their family. Um, mm, I probably should have looked at an old photo. But uh, I, I just I just want to ask what was their relationship like back then? Because from what I remember, they they were together since they were teenagers, um, and you know potentially why why do they break up? Um, I I want to know why did they, well he probably cheated, um, but I want to know why did he go after her to have the kids so badly?
these cards are so jumbled. Um, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so, um, Siobhan is on this side and D-Wade D is on this side. Um, did, didn't, didn't her parents, is he the one where her parents allowed him to stay in their home together? Or was that uh, LeBron? Because it's, there, there's somebody where, because I remember during a divorce of a basketball player, like a really famous one, um, people were upset because the wife, her family took him in. Um, so I, I wonder which I I'm, I think it was Siobhan's family. So I asked I asked them both how you know how were they in their marriage and she was very dissatisfied. She was very very dissatisfied um, emotionally. She was alone. Alone. This is the hermit. Look look at him. I mean, I know when you guys are walking down the street, you see these cats all the time. They're by themselves. So the only thing they have to do is just look outside and watch people walk past past the window. But it's showing that she was very much alone. Very alone. Um, and here, this is like, I mean, this, card's a, this card is a little bit more positive in this deck. But this is a, somebody who's just like, this isn't what I imagine it to be. Um, I mean... There, there was still love there. This is sort of like puppy love. This could also be their two sons at the time. And guys, don't come for me if I get like gender or whatever wrong, whatever. Um, but these are these are also the two sons at the time. So there, there was love there. But this is more like like puppy love, high school love. It's not like full blown developed love, you know? Because he just he just wasn't around that often. But she was she was dissatisfied, and. But for him, for him, he felt like he was very comfortable. <laughs> and it's it's probably because he wasn't around that much and he could do whatever he wanted while he was away. So he was he was he was quite comfortable. And I also feel like he actually did spend a lot on the family, but it feels like for him, like money, money is a big deal. Like that's that's just how he shows his affection. And I think for him, he felt that, you know, as long as he showed it that way, then everything was fine. Um, and even even here, this is like, these these aren't that loving for him, but I, I, I get the feeling that he doesn't express himself that much. Um, and whenever, whenever he does, it feels like it's kind of in a detached way. Like he, she's cups and he's swords. So they were already off. They, they weren't a good energetic match. Not really. Um, he, he, he feels like somebody who is just very blunt, um, very blunt with his opinions. He feels like, oh, well, I'm, I'm telling the truth. This is what's going on. Da, 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 da. And he just doesn't understand why she didn't get it. <laughs> he's just like, it is what it is. I, I spend the money. I send it home. That's it. I, that's that's his opinion but for her she was feeling emotionally neglected and the funny thing is did it take them a long time to get married because if because i asked what was their energy like when they first got married and it feels like it took a long ass time like was it like like between six five to seven years um because it, it feels like like um it feels like they didn't necessarily get married out of love it was more like it feels a bit right kind of like um again kind of like um Giselle and Tom well G Giselle and Tom for them it felt like they were building an empire together whereas these two it's almost like well we've been together for this long so we may as well do it that's what it feels like and I asked him um well why do they break up two of swords because he, he was it was between two different women so he did cheat on her I'm, it was probably Gap, well, he was probably cheating on her the entire time, but this person he was making a decision between, it was probably between her and Gabby, you know. Um, and I also feel like he wanted to take his, his life in a different direction, and with her, he couldn't really get there with her. Um, and when I asked him why did he fight so hard to take the children away from her, it's money. And I, I don't think that it's child support because here it's showing that he didn't have a problem giving her money, but this is like, it's almost like he was thinking far ahead. So like future money, um, f 
future future money and this this card also showed up in his shadow side where he just he just has a lot of ideas um and he thinks very far ahead he's he's extremely he's very strategic and it's almost like he knew that if that if he had the kids like 100 he would make more money well well let's get on to gabby <laughs> So, Gabrielle, man, I remember when I was when I was growing up. Um, I loved her. My my favorite role for her will always be Del "Deliver Us" from Eva. Absolutely adored her. Um, I mean, she always played the same bitchy characters, but but I I I really liked her. Even even when she was in teen in teen movies. So let's see. Always make sure you guys know whether or not I'm biased, you know, because sometimes, sometimes we'll get the cards, but sometimes our bias, we interpret the cards a certain way. So Yeah, she was the one. She 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 was the one. Um, uh, he he chose Gabrielle. That's that's why that's why they divorced. And I mean, some some of you guys who remember the drama, you probably already knew that. But she was the one. She shows up here. Her her pub her public persona. Um, actually, let me let me ask a different question. You want to know what's funny? It feels like she she feels trapped by this family image that she built for herself. I don't think she like she likes the money, but I don't think she likes her new public image. Um, I don't think I don't think the public actually likes her as much as they don't they don't like her as much as um, people think she. Okay. So they're both they're both getting this five of swords card, guys. Um, they're both getting this five of swords cards, which just shows that like they're kind of, you know, very competitive and like many times this this is a very grimy energy. I got this for um, damn I I for Rich Paul Rich Paul. I did a reading on Adele and Rich Paul, and I saw that they're gonna move in together. They're talking marriage. She really wants a baby from him. I got this card for him. This is like somebody who gets what they want by any means necessary. Um, so they're Gabby and um, and D Wade. They both have this energy where, like it, it like it doesn't it doesn't matter how low they have to stoop. It doesn't matter who they have to cross. They're gonna get it. They they're going to get. They're gonna get what they want, and it, it feels like they're both prepared to fight this, and they they want to win this lawsuit. That's what it feels like. But in terms of the public, I don't think the public likes her as much as she thinks they do. I I really do not. I don't I don't think they like her. Um, funny enough, before I started filming this video, my auntie called me, and she was going off. <laughs> going off about it I don't I don't think the public likes her as much as she thinks she does um, and well the both of them and here it's showing that as her public persona so she's all about the family the dynasty the kids the house the whatever the da 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 this and that but I don't I don't think she likes this I don't I don't I do not think she likes this I don't she it feels like she is trapped by this new image she created and pretty soon she's gonna have she's gonna make a choice um i'm not sure if she's gonna walk away from the image or walk away from him we can look at that um at a later date but i i don't think she likes this image i don't think she likes this image because for whatever reason i asked you know how how was she as an actress she preferred that and it it seems like I don't know if she's in anything now, 
but it seems like she was kind of, um, they're, they're not, it's not backstabbed, but like her acting career or the type of acting career she wanted, it was ended abruptly. And that's why she had to scramble to create this new image for herself. Um, so whatever it is she wanted to be as an actress, it's like, no, nah, sweetie, that's done. It's done. Um, and so, so, and, and I, and I feel like she kind of wants to resurrect her act, like her acting resume from the dead. I'm not sure how, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how successful she's going to be. Actually, let me, let me, let me double check. Um, let's see. Was, was she blackballed? I, I don't know. I'm not really getting, I can ask. Yikes. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Okay, so some of you guys wanted to know if Gabby was a bitch. Yes, she is. She is. No, she wasn't blackballed. Well, it, it's, it's okay, so it's, it's possible that she could have been blackballed, but it, I mean, usually when it comes to people being blackballed, especially women, it's because they're not going to sleep with a certain executive. But for her, Spirit is telling me absolutely that her attitude is what got her blackballed. There, let's see, do you want to, do you want to put a name to this? She's a narcissist, guys. She, she's, and not, not like, oh, this person is narcissistic. They really love themselves. This is like and I'm not a, th a therapist or anything, but they're telling me NPD. That's that's what they're telling me about her. Um, and there, and this is clear. Um, outside of the sun, this ace, this ace of swords is like probably my second, my first or second uh, yes card. And I asked, was it her attitude that ended her acting? Well, I don't think her acting career is totally ended. It's just not where it should be. Um, for how many years she's been in this industry. They're like, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Something happened. Something, something specific happened behind the scenes where she went too far. She went too far against the industry. Um, uh, and it, it does, and it doesn't feel like she told some truth or she went up for something good. It feels like she stepped on the wrong toes or like she, she did it too many times, but they're like, no, she's her. It's her attitude. And they're like N P D. That's what I got. Um, and for the people who've been watching my channel for the past year and a couple of months, I don't think I've ever called anyone MPD on this channel yet. I've done it in personal readings. I've picked up on it, but this is the first celebrity where I'm seeing it 100%. I'm surprised it's the woman, but you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, damn. I asked if she'll be able to resurrect her acting career. Now again, she like I, I don't I don't follow her. Um, she may be in like you know some shows on BET or, or or something like that or working with Tyler Perry. I don't know. I know that's going to sound so shady. I don't know. She could she could be on like a TV show or something like that. But as an actress, the type of actress she wants to be, like Angela Bassett style, I asked her if she'll be able to resurrect her career. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Like, I got this card for D Wade when he left um, basketball. He retired. So this is like, she's retired. She She's retired. She's going to try. She's going to try her best. And again, they're, they're showing, she's showing up as being really fucking sneaky. She's going to try her best, but like Spirit is telling her, honey, save your money. That's what they're telling her. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> damn. So to answer your question, because a lot of you really asked, like this is the main question you guys asked about uh, Gabrielle. You're like, is she mean? Is she bitchy? Yes, narcissistic. That's what they're showing. Narcissistic and she did too much. And how is she when she's with her family? No, 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 no. She's a Scorpio, but this is showing up as a very cold woman. That's what it's showing up as. This is someone who's criticizing 
who like she she does have a lot on her mind and she takes it out on her family so this is someone who's criticizing she directs everything she's controlling da 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 i i feel like she's the one who's in charge of this marriage she's the one who's in charge of this marriage and here i don't i don't think so far i don't think this is a happy marriage and i wouldn't be surprised if she eventually divorces him i would not be surprised i would not be surprised hmm we will look more into that This is nuts. Okay, so this, again, again, it feels like, so I'm asking about the marriage. Again, this this feels like, um, uh, what do you call it? This feels like, uh, uh, this, this is, I think this is the lawsuit. I don't think that this necessarily has too much to deal with the marriage, but it does, it does have something. And again, again, so D-Wade is on this side, Garrel is on this side. So here, so, oops, oops. I asked her how 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 does she feel about him and again oh gosh this is so uh, guys I have like a little bit of OCD I can't, I can't stand for things to be messy but again again this is showing up as like she does she does like the family unit she does like the wealth and the the comfortability that comes with it she does it, it's here um, and how she feels about the marriage it's like this, this is actually positive. So this is the wife and the husband, and this is the love coming from her to him. So she is trying to give give him love. She is trying to be sweet to him, all this stuff, da 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 da, da. Um, But then I asked Wade, how does he feel about Gabby? He's just like, mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. And here, now, um, because I asked him, how does he feel about the marriage? And it looks like he got what he wanted out of it. And this is the marriage itself. But this this could also, again, because I do feel like this lawsuit is showing up in their cars. This could also be like just the government, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, but again, this like, this fighting, this whatever. So I don't know if something was just found out about his cheating ass. Um, and maybe they're just on the outs right now. But again, it's, it's coming up where it's not... It's a mixed bag for him, but how he feels about her, he's just like, mm, 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 stress, emotional stress on his side. Um, and this could also this could also be just him not able to express himself, and he expresses how he feels by giving gifts, giving money. Um, so who, who knows? And I asked, what's the energy of the marriage now? Here's this shit. This is usually people who are going through a tough time. Um, I know that there are a lot of positive spins on this judgment card, like, you know, someone finding their calling, but it's, it's still, and it's a highly spiritual card, but just because something is spiritual, that doesn't mean that it's always going to be positive. A lot of the times the lessons we need to learn are difficult, um, and it's going to be tough for us. So I feel like right now this marriage is pretty tough. Some of it has to do with the lawsuit. I'm quite sure. Um, but the, I feel like there's something else going on in this marriage. Like, cause I, I saw a woman there that he's with, so it's possible he could have been caught cheating again, or, or it's possible that someone dropped the dime on him. Like they gossiped to Gabby and now she knows, but they're going through a tough time. And then, so normally I ask now two years and five years, but I ask now one year, two years, one year, death, death. So <laughs> when I said I wouldn't be surprised if she leaves him, this is her card, Scorpio. Something's going to happen in this family. 
Again, it could be a divorce. It could be a literal death. It could be uh, they changed the agreement of their marriage. Like, you know, maybe they've become open. Um, it, could, it, could, it could be anything. But there's going to be a major change in this marriage. And then two years, we have this money here. But then this is also the card of a single woman. So like I said, I would not be surprised if eventually she divorces him. Even though he's the one who feels kind of iffy about her now, I wouldn't be surprised if she leaves him. Let me, let's ask, let's ask. Someone wants money. Well, she can also be queen. She can also be queen of cups. I think. I don't know. I think. She, I think she's the one who's weighing her options, because um, she's Scorpio, so queen of cups here. She's the one who's weighing her options. She showed up here. She showed up as death as well. She. She's weighing her options. I think. I think she's. I think she's waiting to save up more money. Whereas with him, I think because I asked him if he wants. He wants. If he's the one who wants a divorce, this looks like. I feel like he does want the union to change. I wouldn't be surprised if he wants to be open or, or, or something like that. So I don't think he wants a divorce. He just wants things to change, to be like, look, you know, I'm not going to be faithful. So what, what do you want? That's what it seems like he wants. Whereas with her, she's just like, mm, where's the money? Where Where is the money? Listen, if it happens, I was right about uh, Tom Brady and Giselle uh leonardo DiCaprio and camilla ezra miller too i'll i'll leave a little description there i saw he was going to get away with all that shit um i was right about a lot of stuff uh so listen if if they do go through some significant change or or if they go out to the public oh you know we're consciously uncoupling or some bullshit like that you hear it here first and when you hear it go buy a reading <laughs> all right let's ask about this lawsuit So first, um, I, I asked, so I, I, don't, I don't read on children, um, so I'm trying to read around them, excuse me, because, um, you know, they're, they're not public figures. Well, I think the eldest son is a basketball player, and he's of age, so I can ask something about him, um, but I feel like, actually, let me, let me draw, let me draw a different card, let me, uh, his name, Zaire, I think that's his name. Um, okay. No, he, he loves his mother, the eldest son, who's the basketball player. I think his name is Zaire. He, he, he loves his mother. Um, I asked her how, how does she feel about him? And it's like, I feel like she doesn't get to talk to them that much. And she's trying to like go around their agreement to talk to her children. Um, and when I asked Zaire, how does he feel about his mom? He's trying to bridge the gap basically because he, he knows that she's lonely. Like, Oh, she's a Virgo. He 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 know, he knows that she's lonely, and he's trying to bridge the gap. I think he's trying to like. I kind of feel like he wants her. Let me let me ask. So he's he's complicated, cause it looks like he kind of wants her to drop the lawsuit, but I also feel like he's happy that he's defending. Um. That she that she's defending her child, um, so so he kn he knows that she's lonely. He wants he wants to bridge the gap. He wants he wants to be closer. Um, so he makes a lot of overtures towards her, um, and he kind of wants her to drop the lawsuit. But he he likes that she's standing up for something. Um, and when I asked her about the younger child, because I know. Um, 
was a boy, is now a girl, I don't know, trying to go through transition, something like that. She, 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 she's outcasting. She's out, so this is her as a mom. This, this is the child, uh, Zion, Zaya. Um, this, this is the child. I think this child is actually gonna be famous, actually, more than the basketball child. Um, this child is gonna be famous, but this is her feeling like she's left out of the loop here. This is her feeling like she was kicked out, kicked out of this child's life. Like this child doesn't, or maybe, maybe her ex-husband did it. Like, it's like, she doesn't know what's going on. She's no longer wanted there as, as a mother. Um, like she just, she just feels left out. And when I asked her, how does she feel about the gender sex change? Well, you can't change sex, but the gender change, she wants to put a stop to it. Like she, she means what she says. She, she wants to put a stop to it. And this, this is like something that she's how, I don't know how old this child is, but this is something that she's been seeing for a long time. And in her mind, she feels like she's protecting, um, that even though, like, even if, even if she can't be this mother here. So for the way I read the queen of pentacles is the lesser version of the empress. So even though she's not being treated as this child's mother, the younger one, Zaya Zion, She's like, okay, so they kicked me out. I'm not being seen as this child's mother, but at least I can protect Zaya Zion from afar. That's kind of how she feels. She really wants to stop it. She she wants she wants to put she wants to put a block to it. And I also feel like she wants to develop something with this child. Um, and for her, protecting from afar is like her doing her motherly duties. Um, so some other, some other questions. So let's ask a couple of other questions. Oops, oops, oops. So, um, someone wanted to know if, because I think she accused the union or the unions, my goodness, I'm even saying that he took on her last name, but someone is accusing Gabby and, or uh, Siobhan is accusing the both of them of trying to profit off the child and I think someone said that a Disney deal was mentioned there is there is listen guys Gabby I think Gabby wants to leave this marriage I think she wants to leave this marriage. There is, um, well, there's going to be a Disney deal. Yes, there is. Um, I do, I do, I do feel like it. And it looks like they want to follow the journey of the, the transition of this child. I think that's, I think that's what it is. Like they, they, like it's almost like, uh, what's that other child's name? Jazz? Is it Jazz Jennings on TLC? Something like that, where, where they're just going to follow the transition and follow the life and, and, you know, advertise and do all this stuff. I think, I think there is a potential Disney deal here. If it's not with Disney, it's going to be something like that, where they're, they're going to follow through hormone therapy, surgery, if that's what the child decides. Um, and then after surgery, it's almost like a reality thing. I feel like this child is going to be famous, famous basically off that. Um, and when I asked if Disney is going to support them, I keep getting Gabby. I think Gabby wants to go. <laughs> Gabby, Gabby most certainly wants, wants to go, but it's, it's also possible that this deal could be killed. Um, because because of the lawsuit no, no it's possible it's possible it could, it could go through it's possible that it that it, it could go through and I think they're going to do something like we'll we'll let the child to decide I think that's how they're going to do it or that's that's how they're going to say it happened it's like no no it wasn't it wasn't Wade and Gabby the child decided this is what the child wanted that's that I think that's how it's going to go through and there are other and there are other deals that um Wade that he is going to be in charge of he's going to be in charge of it
They are. I think honestly, I I because I did ask if they're if they're using this child for public publicity and it looks like Wayne Wade definitely is D Wade definitely is but G Gabby is too but she's she's you she's doing it to a lesser extent um, her thing is with the entire family it's also possible that her daughter or her child or whatever she's more in charge of that but it looks like Wade he's the one who's in charge of all these deals and all this stuff da da da, da. so it, it, it looks like Siobhan isn't lying <laughs> like she's not lying but I don't know. I don't know if she'll if she'll win the lo her lawsuit. I don't I don't know if she's gonna win. She may she may get a financial settlement, but I'm I'm not sure if she's gonna win. I f yeah I, I feel I feel like he's mostly well I don't know. Again, this woman is coming up that he's having sex with. <laughs> Again, this woman is coming up. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure if she's going to... It, it doesn't look like a slam dunk that she's going to win, but it feels like um, a settlement is going to be offered. But I don't know. I think she shouldn't take this settlement because something isn't right with the settlement. Something's not right with it. Yeah, something something's not right with the settlement. So if she wants to fight, she should fight. Um, she 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 absolutely should fight. Don't if they offer her money, she shouldn't take it because it's almost like they're gonna put a gag order on her, and like something else is gonna happen, and it's almost like she won't get like the the money that she is gonna get. It's just it's just gonna look bad. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't look like a slam dunk for her, honestly. Um, and it, it, it looks like uh, that Disney deal or whatever deals that uh, Dwayne has um, in mind, they're going to go through, but they're going to frame it as Zion, Z Zaya wanted them. That's how it's going to happen. So, all right, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know my readings have been getting so long lately, but it's because you guys have so many questions. So I appreciate everybody who takes the time <laughs> to listen to, all the, to these readings because they, they are long. Um, yeah, they're long. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. If you would like a personal reading from me, then please go to my website at www.terabymoko.com and click on the book a reading button from the homepage. From there, you will be redirected to my shop, which includes categories for career, future forecasts, general inquiries, love and relationships, personal growth, as well as options for expedited delivery. I have a spread for almost every occasion, but of course, love and relationships is the most popular with readings for your future partner, no contact, will you ever find love, how does your crush feel, as well as sugar daddies. And if you do not feel comfortable purchasing from my website, then you can find me on Etsy under the same name, Tara by Moko, where I have the same exact readings that I have on my website. And for those of you who would like to learn how to read the tarot, then just visit my blog and there you will find a series called Learn Tarot With Me. There, I will provide definitions for the cards as well as tips and tricks to help you become more intuitive with your tarot reading. All right. Thank you guys so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.